of all potions with the Slytherins. Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favours them. We'll be able to see if it's true. It's true then. Harry Potter's come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, and this is Goyle. And my name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter. Peace. You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of potion making. As there is little foolish wand waving here, many of you will hardly believe this is magic. I don't expect you will really understand the beauty of this softly simmering cauldron with its shimmering fumes, the delicate power of liquids that creep through human veins, the witching the mind, ensnaring the senses. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop a death. If you aren't as big a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to teach. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Asphodel, Dittany, Wigan Tree Bark, Failure will be severely punished. The groundskeeper, Hagrid, may be able to help you with the first ingredient. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potion blessing. It's defense against the dark arts with Professor Quirrell next. Class dismissed. serves I don't like explicitly tell you where all of the ingredients are. Well, I guess we'll start by talking to Hagrid. Is there anything anything in here? Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson. Hey. We need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. I don't even know if it'll let me outside yet. We'll see. But we may as well just keep on going with the story at this point. Uh, okay, yeah, we can. I think I'm just going to keep going with Defense Against the Dark Arts, though. I've explored quite a bit already, and I can't get any more details. I'm just astounded that we haven't run into a loading screen yet. That, that's why it's so choppy. I'm turned around. Uh, okay. Harry, this lesson is with Professor Quirrell. I've been really looking forward to it. Oh, I just remembered. I have another thing I need to do. Okay, so that book is in the grounds as well. I'll deal with that later. I don't think there's really a time limit as long as you do it before you finish the game. <laughs> I could be wrong though. Good, good day, class. Today we are going to have a most illuminating experience when we l learn the wand lighting spell, Lumos. Not only can this light be used to illuminate dark areas, b b but it is also used to reveal s secrets. Lumos is also a useful spell to use against s spectral beasts, such as guy trashes and g g ghosts, provided you b b bathe them in the light from your wand. To learn the s spell, you must each enter the s spell challenge. N n n n how about you first? Oh dear. Ah! 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Potter, your turn. The Lumos spell book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Find it, and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. So I think I'm probably going to be doing this little challenge and then maybe see where we're at at the after that. Oh, wait, wait. That's not the spellbook. No, that's the... that's a folio. Magi... or Vutai. Uh, for ghosts. Oh, gee. Oh, great. Um, general, unnamed, non-specific ghosts haunting the classrooms and corridors of Hogwarts. Not house ghosts. Like nearly headless Nick, ghosts are only hurt by light directed from a Lumos spell. So unless we can deal with them, they're going to be more of a nuisance, I suppose. And we also can't get back out. The only way for us to progress... Oh, we might have to come back here. When we have Defendo. That's interesting. A cauldron cake! Thank you. Oh. I couldn't tell if, if I could slide along this wall or not. It's kind of tricky. My life easier, I guess. <gasps> All right. Ow. Ow. But why do they hit so hard? No. Oh, dang it. That's a challenge to you, Mr. P Potter. You need to collect them all for the highest grade. I was incorrect. Alright. Okay. Well, we can't go back where we came. This way, maybe I can slide this one? Or shimmy myself. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. No, I can't, I can't get through there. We don't have the window. Oh, man. Let's step on the light. And then nothing happened. That's fine. Uh, should be some imps hopefully down here so I can get back up. Depend on! A pumpkin pasty! Are there no imps anywhere? Really? Yeah, the, the older uh, Harry Potter games are definitely a lot more like Zelda. Got your puzzles and dungeons. The controls, though, are not quite as. Ow! Ow! What hit me? Oh. I see. 
Well, now I'm down here again. Oh, come on. Okay, so there's one. It's in the hole. It's fine. A pumpkin pasty. Owl treats. We fed to owls to encourage them to do favors for you. That seems handy. A cauldron cake. Ow. Jeez. Okay, let's just deal with them before. Eurek the Oddball, medieval, dates unknown. Highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among other things, for wearing a jellyfish for a hat. A challenge shield. That's two. If you can hit them before they hit you, they're really not that big of a deal. Oh, okay. Can I? A challenge shield. I have no idea how many shields there are in each dungeon. I guess we'll find out. A cauldron cake. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go back up. Feeling that uh, that might show up. So that owl treat, we needed that so we could interact with this thing and summon Hedwig. Hedwig. What is up with Sam? Hold on a minute. Whoa. Well, that is unfortunate. I can't deal with that. We're gonna save and reload, maybe? Well, if I reload, it might not. Let's keep going and see if it fixes itself first. Oh, that is bad. I don't think it's going to fix itself. Okay, it did. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was getting worried there for a second. Let's build up. Well, that wasn't too bad. A challenge shield. Okay, I can't. I can't jump into places like this. Oh, good thing I grabbed that shield first.
Lumos, if correctly incanted, Lumos will cast light in the immediate vicinity of the caster. Lumos can also be used to illuminate unseen en entrances. It is a little known fact that certain areas in the gloomier parts of Hogwarts may be explored by casting the Lumos spell. Great, no more exploring. <laughs> Uh, further use of the Lumos spell is that it can be effective against spectral beasts such as ghosts and guy trashes. Stick there and... Wow! The Lumos spell! Maybe I could use this to find my way out. Lumos! So I think, yeah, it'll illuminate ones that are gonna fall. So we don't want to step on those. Okay. <laughs> like that. A cauldron cake! At least we're finding lots of restorative items. So that's great. Oh, eight and seven. A challenge shield! Looks like I can get through that door, but I'm wondering if there's anywhere else. Lumos! Why is it red? Weird. spells are red, that means that you charge it up for too long, but... It's working, at least. A challenge shield! Okay, so I have to go through here after all. Lumos! Lumos is a pretty fun spell. Lumos! It's got a bunch of different uses. Either at the end, or we're pretty close. The shield up there. Defendo! This game is so dark. What do I do with you? You moths. <laughs> Platforming. That should be fine. There's a door there, though. It's through the door. Oh, a challenge shield. Sweet. A cold 
children cake. <laughs> oh, that's fine. A little far. Yeah, the um, uh, Sorcerer's Stone for the PS1 has a lot of platforming puzzles kind of like this. A challenge shield! And that's it, I believe. Or not, maybe? Yes? No? New moths! Yeah, we'll just have to make a note of, like, coming back here when we have Defendo. Good one, Harry. I'll give that a b, -b, -b. That's all for t -t today. Class dismissed. So, and you get the same cutscene every time. <laughs> Oh, there's no hole. Poor guy. If you complete all your tasks by the end of each day, you'll be able to revisit the spell challenges. Oh, okay, cool. So, does that mean that that's it for the day? Mr. P Potter, you should be at your f flying lesson now. Oh, I guess we're doing flying next. And we'll basically Harry, wrap up the day. I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow, it. Follow me. Coincidentally, we need to go uh, outside to get some potions and ingredients. So we'll see. I forget how big the grounds actually are. <laughs> I don't think they're too terribly big, but I could be completely wrong because in the second game we were able to fly around on broomstick. So they have to be reasonably sized. Really? No loading screen? Wow. Crazy. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Madam Peach. Peach. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to their broomsticks. Hit your broom is now configured. If you want to alter the configuration any time, you can do this by going to the options. You see before you a course comprising enchanted <laughs> rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin! Oh, this is wonky. I think it's inverted. Oh dear. Oh. It's fine. Oh yeah, that, that's much better. Oh, you I missed a ring. No! for the examination where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. Oh great. All right. to miss many more rings, Potter. A 
That's a few you've missed, Potter. So hard to control. Truly excellent. You receive an A+. Plus. All right. If you want to try and improve your flying grade, come back and see me here at any time of the day. I don't know if we can do any better than A+. Plus. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've earned your house a few points there. Longbottom, your turn. Whoa! Oh! Mi Mr. 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 Longbottom. Oh. oh, there he goes. Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Come on now, it's all right. Up you get. None of you are to move while I take this boy to the hospital wing. Oh. Come on, dear. Did you see his face? Maybe if the fat lump had given this a squeeze, he would have remembered to fall on his fat backside. Give it here, Malfoy. No. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to find. How about on the roof? What's the matter, Potter? Bit beyond your reach? Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. I'm trying. But it's not going that fast. I just keep Can't you stay. find that broom, Potter? What are you waiting for, Potter? Give up now if you're afraid. What's up, Potter? Too slow to catch me? I mean, I am trying. Okay. Last of it, Potter. I'd take you on any time on my own. Tonight, if you want. Wizard's Duel? What's the matter? Never heard of a Wizard's Duel? Of course, yes. I'm his second. Meet me tonight on the fourth floor. Wands only. No contact. Dear Harry. Would you like to come and have a cup of tea with me this afternoon? I want to hear all about your first day. Hagrid. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Come on, Harry, follow me. Okay. Well, I'm wondering, is this technically the grounds? Because we need to look for that book. Oh well, I'll find it eventually. I do wish I had my broom. Also, where the heck did Ron go? I kinda wish there was a bit more, like, ambient music. Maybe if we go this way. 